Ya lives for speed. She considers herself a strong competitor of Aletta, but Aletta never seems to agree. As a flanker, her suit enables her to surpass the limits of her human body and break world records. Her main weapon is Gale Pistol, which deals burst damage in melee range. The pistol's damage decays by distance, so Ya likes to focus on short-range fights. To reduce her weight and move fast, her pistol has a small magazine. She needs to monitor her ammo constantly and pull back when needed. This suit is an engineering feat of the Eureka Motors Corporation. By wearing the suit, Ya obtains her most important ability, Wind Swift. Look at this. Ya charges forward and penetrates the opponents. This allows her to deal melee damage without aiming her pistol. While using Wind Swift, Ya actively identifies opponents with low health. And because a knockout will instantly reset the cooldown, she can quickly take them down and retreat to a safe position. With her passive ability, Stormward, Ya also gains a temporary shield whenever she hits an opponent with Wind Swift. This will give her more room for errors when dueling. Ya's ultimate ability is Breeze Blast. Freeze Blast increases her movement speed and gives her two blades. The blades will penetrate opponents, deal high AoE damage, and also restore the cooldown of Wind Swift. However, there's a short delay for the ability to take effect, so Ya wouldn't use it in the middle of a battle. Instead, she'd do this. Use Wind Swift to catch the opponent by surprise, and then release Freeze Blast. Wind Swift cooldown reset. Release it the second time. Huh, that's a perfect knockout. Ya's second ultimate ability is Tempest Walker. She transforms into a moving vortex and leaves behind a whirlwind three times along the way. Tempest Walker will disrupt the opponent's formation and Ya can evade all incoming attacks. In this team comp with Kazama, Ya created an amazing combo with his second ultimate. The disruption she made enabled Kazuma to wipe out the opponents in one go.